right, audience. All right. As you know, I have a big mouth. Got me in trouble in high school. Now I make a living because of it. But in high school, if somebody said something to me, I could never not say something back. So many times, <laughs> I got everything beaten out of me. But they couldn't make me stop talking. Now, there are people in high school who love to go around, pick on other people, call them names, pick somebody out, and make their life a living hell. And those are our childhood bullies. I can remember almost every one of them. But now, years later, <laughs> some of them are in prison, some of them are dead, and some of them are cops. <laughs> Um, and I'm sure that I would forgive all of them for what happened in high school. But it is something that always stays with you. On this show today, you're going to meet people who have been tormented by high school bullies. They've come here for revenge, for some resolution, for an apology. But they say they've never been able to get over the fact that somebody picked on them terribly. Our first guest is Anthony. Anthony, your childhood bully followed you from elementary school all the way into adulthood. What was your life like when you were being bullied? It was torture. It was a nightmare from a day-to-day -day basis. Seeing this kid come down the hallway, it was like a nightmare. The things he'd do to me would oh. be unbelievable, the things he'd do. What did he do? What did he do? Like, I'd be, I'd be walking in the hallway, and he'd take me into the locker room, take me, and he'd start beating me. Just beating me with a stick, literally. A oh, walker? <laughs> oh, wait a second. He's making fun, but it's not funny, right? I mean, it's not funny at all, the things yeah. he'd do to me. I mean, he'd take me, he'd take water balloons sometimes, him and, yeah. and the kid he used to hang out with, and he'd put them in my shorts and just smack it really hard. People would just walk by and look, oh, look, they're laughing, ha-ha, he peed himself, they'll be saying, because cause he wet me. The kid would put just water balloons in my shorts and just smack him as hard as he can. <laughs> people would think I peed myself. Well, people, did it... And that would be more abuse on top of the abuse. They I know the people would... It's funny. People would think it was... Well, I didn't think it was... All right. Uh, well, this went on how, even during high school. Yeah, it went on during high school. And how about now? Do you still see him around? Okay, occasionally, I don't even want to look at this kid. Occasionally, I see. Well, you're going to have to look at him because he's backstage. But I do want to, I do want to, at least give you some small solace. By the end of the program, the biggest bully will finally meet his match. He will be taking a spin on the wheel of torture. Your high school bully, his name was Joe, right? Why did you want to meet him here today on the Richard Bay Show? I want to get this off my chest. I want to meet this kid face to face and tell him what I have to say. Tell him what you did was wrong. You should apologize to me. That's Joe what I is here. Him. Let's bring him on out and find out if he's in a mood. Okay. Joe, I mean, I got to say, you look... If we called, oh, Joe, 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 I'm going to have to stand up for him here because this is my turf now, okay? Joe. I got to say, if I called Central Casting, they couldn't have sent me a guy that would look more like a bully. Uh, 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 <laughs> try, try. Yeah. All right. You admit you are a bully, right? Of course. Number one bully. There's no one rougher than me, baby. No one. <laughs> no one. Come on, pop it up. Pop it up. You mutts. Why did you pick on Anthony? Just look at him. Look at him. Why did I pick on him? Come on, are you all blind? Look at him. He's a mutt. He's a slob. Look at him. Just look at him. He's a retarded. I enjoy slapping the hell out of him. All right, wait a second. You weren't. Why do you enjoy it so much? Because I do. I just like, I like praying on the weak. I love it. Give me a feeling inside. A feeling inside. Wait a second, Look you're laughing, it. but you're serious, right? I'm dead serious. You think that this is, uh, you even thank God for making you a bully. That's correct. Why do you thank God for that? Because I get a feeling inside. When I bother someone like this much sitting right next to me, I get a feeling inside that you, none of you's ever experienced. Never will if you're not a bully. Never will. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, what about if there's a guy that's bigger than you? Does he have the right then to pick on you and bully he you? He won't pick on me. Why not? Because I'll pick on him first. Even if the guy's, bi what about the guy's big, big enough that he can kick your butt around I don't town? think so. I don't care how big he is. I'll pick on him first. I guarantee you that. So life is all about the powerful preying on the that's weak. That's correct. 
And one of the reasons you think, you think God made you the predator and, and not the prey. Because I'm the man, I'm the bully, I'm the bully, that's it. Bottom well, line. Well, one of the worst things in this story is that you're not the only one who bullied him. <laughs> he, you have been betrayed by your own flesh and blood. Yep. Who joined this bully in tormenting your life? My brother. Your brother. Your brother's on his side. Unfortunately, yes. All right, listen, look, look, I can see how nervous you're getting already. Your shoulders are rising up. Your head is sinking down. Listen, good buddy, you're on the Richard Bay Show now. These guys ain't going to touch you here. I'll take care of you. But I'm going to bring your brother out, too, okay? Let's bring his brother out and find out why. Wait. They're not coming closer. This guy has made your brother's life a living hell. Can I tell you something? Whenever I got into a fight, my brother would jump in. I wasn't a great fighter, but my brother, my brother is a killer. My brother would jump in and kick the other guy's butt. Why didn't you stand up for your brother? I don't give two cents about him. He looks like he's something out of a comic book, this guy. He looks like he's out of a comic book. Uh, he never gets, he never goes out. He likes playing his games. He likes playing his games. So what the hell? Go out, get, and act like a guy, and I won't abuse you. Don't worry about it. But, uh, I don't know. He just likes to sit home, play video games. Wait a second. And I abuse him. This is your brother. Abuse. I don't care. You I don't come care. here with me. I don't even want you sitting between abuse. these two people. Lost. Yeah. Come here. I lost. Come here. I've known guys like this all my life. Did you graduate from high school? Yeah. You gonna go to college? Yeah. Go out. Make a million bucks, come back and buy them. Rub it in Make the face. them shine yeah. your shoes. <laughs> yeah. Because you want to know something? When you get out in the oh. real world, it doesn't matter how big your muscles, how big your mouth is, oh. what your attitude's like. You know what? Where you're going to be in a few years? Where? You're going to be shining his shoes. Get you know, you know what you're going to be shining my shoes? Yeah. You'll be shining my shoes. You'll be shining Richard, you'll be shining my shoes. You're, the both of you should be shining my shoes. The hell Sooner or later, you're going to run into somebody who's going to kick Come your butt. I, 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 I want to look in the bottom of my shoe before I shine his freaking shoes. Because there's always a predator for every prey. Yeah, but me the predator, him is the yeah. But wait a second. That's it. That's it. We're not in the jungle anymore. Well, I'm in the jungle every day. Yeah. Work on Wall Street. We go crazy. We go nuts. Hell, you lose this guy's uh, a loser. Here. You make me sick. All right. Well, listen, my listen, listen. Audience, let me ask you something. You've heard his story. Whose side are you on? Yeah. Of course. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. And you know what? Hopefully, society will always stand up in mass against bullies, whether they're People political like bullies, whether they're media bullies, or whether they're personal bullies. We're going to leave you for a moment, but we'll be right back. Stay with us.